Compact discs. Well, a lot of the generation below us or below me um, probably isn't going to experience CDs the way that I did. Um, I've got a pretty extensive collection and I'm not about to get rid of them either. Um, if you go to thrift stores, garage sales and such, you'll start to see CDs in a lot of different places. You'll, you'll see that people are getting rid of, rid of their collections. I'm actually one of those guys that's probably going to hold on to these till the end of time and my wife has actually asked me a number of times to get rid of these and the truth be told she's kinda right about six seven years ago when she asked if I would get rid of my collection or if I would unload this I could probably get three to five dollars per disc and in fact some of these I'd probably get ten or fifteen dollars per disc because I have quite a few rare discs in my collection but by today's standards you're lucky to, to even sell these for 99 cents each and most of the stuff that's out of print or that was rare, you can get on iTunes or it's been remastered. So the, the honest truth is that really no CD in any collection is really worth that much, nor is it rare. But there are some exceptions. One thing you can't recreate um, on iTunes or online are box sets or the artwork or the associated materials. One of the thing I want to, things I want to talk about today are our box sets. And one of my favorite companies is the company by the name of Rhino. Um, Rhino, for years, has done a very good job remastering and putting out various box sets. Um, Rhino is actually probably the most well-known for nuggets. Okay, now take a look at this box. It's a very nice box. It's got a lot of details on it. It's like a laminated thing. I mean, this is very, very well made. Okay, this is Nuggets, the garage rock from the mid-60s. Inside here, there's an incredible book that goes track by track and has pictures and history about the various songs. Okay, so you get a really nice book, and then on top of it, you know, you get your CDs, the actual media, and you get some really interesting looking discs. So, a lot of effort was put into these, not only into the pressings of the discs, but the liner notes, the box, and the whole presentation. In addition to Nuggets, there's Nuggets 2. There's Children of Nuggets, that's another great box set. And then you get into some other things that came out. Here's one called No Thanks. This is actually a, um, it's called the 70's Punk Rebellion. This is a box set that has all sorts of great punk rock songs. So similar to the other ones, they've got, it's got some really creative CD ink that's on the actual CDs. And then you have a great book full of liner notes. Okay, Now, yes, you could search Wikipedia for all these bands and you could learn and get this stuff, but truth be told, nothing really replicates having physical media in a box like this. You can download it, but you're not going to get the same effect. Here's what's interesting. is Here's a uh, receipt. I guess I bought this in 2004 and it was on eBay. So very interesting. I like to keep receipts, so a lot of the things that I own have uh, receipts. So that's, that's just a couple of the box sets, and these are all Rhino, okay? Here's another one called the Brit Box, and these are some great British songs, okay? I think this one actually has a light up. Let's see here, let's, let's open this up, and I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Oh, and the battery's dead, so the battery did actually die, but there's a switch back here because this was supposed to light up along the top. For all I know, maybe I left it, pl left it on last time I used it. Here's, here's all the additional Rhino things. The doo-wop box, okay, all sorts of doo-wop songs from the, the years gone by. Here's a doo-wop box number two. Some of these are more rare than others. And then Duop Box 3, I think I paid a lot more for this one because this one was harder to find because there were more of the Volume 1 than the Volume 3. 
Here's an out of print one. It's called Loud, Fast, and Out of Control. This is all um, 50s rock. It's a great compilation. This one's four discs. Okay. And they've got these looking like old records. Okay. You got great liner notes that tell you about the artists about the record labels, and in some cases how they came across the original masters because, you know, Rhino, and, and when you get a box set like this, one of the, the great things is that these sound so good because a lot of what people have heard are old 45s or their second or third generation copies. Um, Rhino's done a really good job remastering and getting the best versions of things. Here's another one called Left of the Dial, and look at this, it's got like an embossed paint on it. I really love it. This is a um, uh, 80s alternative post-punk as you would call it. Okay, so it's a lot of like 80s type music but it's not so much the stuff you would always hear on the radio but it's what you call post-punk. It's great. Okay, Cowabunga. This is another one and if you look in the light it looks like there's wax on here. Um, that's intentional, okay? That waxy, those dots. Cowabunga, this is one I actually bought out of print. I think I paid maybe $150 for this. What it is, is it's a box of surf tracks. Okay, Each one is a different decade. This is 60 to 63. But absolutely fantastic compilation. And this has all sorts of um, information. I don't know who wrote this. I'd have to pull it up. But it's really a whole background on the whole surf scene. So quite interesting. This one actually came out in 1996. And I think I bought this around 2004. And this is well long out of print, but I bought it used. And you can get these all used on eBay. Um, in addition to these box sets which that I just went over, there's a few other Rhino box sets that are interesting. So here is, oh my god, the 80s pop culture box. Okay. And then this one also has, this has some really 80s looking CDs, some wild designs, but it also has a book that's tucked away here that has all sorts of information. Um, here's one, this smells like coffee. I'm smelling it right now, I'm, but this is called Whatever, uh, the 90s box set. And this is real coffee that's encapsulated in this plastic front, and it's all sorts of stuff from the 90s. It's a compilation. It's it's seven discs. Um, what's funny or what's interesting is Rhino, a lot of times when they when they come out with a first release, it comes with something special like this. And then they would have gotten rid of the coffee grounds and it would have just been a regular front cover. But this is a first pressing. Um, here's another one. Okay, and I just dropped a couple, darn it. This here, if I remove the leatherette cover to it, called A Life Less Lived, the Gothic box. What this is, is a bunch of Gothic rock, and this also has an extremely detailed book, so it's a great compilation um, of Gothic rock. Um, there's some Depeche Mode on here, um, by, I, I can't even think, even the Cult is on here, but quite a few, and this even has a, I think a DVD with some videos on it. Here is the 70s Have a Nice Decade pop culture. This is similar to the 80s one, but it has a whole book full of liner notes. And then we have Rock and Bones, and Rock and Bones is kind of a slimmed down version of the 50s rock wild out of control, loud, fast, and out of control. It's a little bit slimmed down. I think that maybe they couldn't keep the licensing rights for all of them, so they came down with a slimmed down version, which is only four discs. Um, there's another one here called the Disco Box. And again, these are all Rhino. So I'm focusing today on Rhino, and it looks like this was a cutout because the UPC code is cut through. Okay, so this one also has some really interesting facts um, about the disco era and different artists. Okay, here's another Nuggets. This is San Francisco Nuggets. This looks more like a book, but it's called Love is the Song We Sing. 
Um, this one was okay. It actually wasn't my favorite, but I, 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 I did like it. It just wasn't my favorite. But this one's extremely detailed. And this is the San Francisco area uh, era of nuggets. Okay, so those are some of the rhinos. And actually, before I sign off, I'm not going to go through the others. Here's another rhino box set. It looks like a bunch of 8-tracks. But inside here, let me open this up. It's called the 70s Soul Experience. And this is uh, more of like 60s soul music. Okay, and each one of these has a disc. And there's also liner notes and such. So this is... Um, box. This actually, I think, actually it doesn't have a cover. That is the cover. Um, uh, beg, Scream, and Shout. This is well out of print as well. This is a um, this is extremely detailed box. What it has is it has um, a bunch of cards, a bunch of trivia things, and then each one of these discs looks like a record. And when it comes out, it looks like this. So, the amount of detail they did, I think this is a seven disc set, but they just did an incredible job on that. So the packaging alone, and I think these originally were all maybe sixty to eighty dollars each. Finally for Rhino in terms of box sets, here's Hot Rods and Custom Classics, and this is Cruising Songs and Highway Hits. Um, a lot of car action oriented songs, and if I open this one up, this looks like a model kit that you'd build a car from, and there's a bunch of uh, documentation and things in here, and I think there's also a pretty detailed book. There's the book here on all these songs, and as well as there's some fuzzy dice and you know some different things. So I've tried to preserve these as best as possible by not messing with them. Some of these I bought used, so they're not including everything that they came with. But so bottom line, my story or the message I'm saying is while the music is available everywhere and the information is avail available everywhere there's nothing quite like having a box set with all the information so you can throw your music on and then sit back and read into a lot of this stuff because it really is interesting and if you're into collecting um, like I am you'll see why you do not want to get rid of these thanks for watching guys